Now, can you believe it? It's almost a decade since my last uh, guest won Strictly. Well, since then, The Wanted's Jay McGuinness has been starring in so many mu uh, musical hits. And now he's back on stage, touring the UK in the supernatural thriller 222, A Ghost Story. And he joins me now. And you follow in the footsteps of some fantastic casting. Yes. Uh, it's been a phenomenon, hasn't it, this show, Jay? Yeah, that's right. I mean, it started with Lily Allen famously in the West End, nominated for an Olivier Award. Wow. Um, so I think that set it off on a really good start. And then I watched it about six months ago with my manager and we watched uh, Jake Wood played my character. Um, he's like a Cockney geezer type of thing. Of course. <laughs> and I just, I loved the show so much. And I'd never like, it was nothing to do with the production. And I said to my manager, please, please, I really want this one. Please, I'd love that. I'd never done a play without singing or dancing or any of that. And um, by hook or by crook, Damien, the manager, got me in there. I'm really happy to be on the tour now. And you've done a month of it touring, haven't That's you? Right. How's it being received? How are you finding it? Honestly, it's I can't say how well it's gone. Like we've had really nice houses, like really, really good audiences. People are excited to see it because they've heard about it, but they don't know the twist and what's yes, going on yes. during it. And I mean, just seeing all the like various towns across the country, it's been lovely. Like, love the cast, great audiences. I can't really say a lot about the show because it's, there's so many twists, but it scares people. People really laugh their, their Didn't hearts out. Didn't you go out. to see Cheryl in it as well, Cheryl Tweedy? That's right. Yeah, she you was did. playing the, the, the uh, mother who is convinced at 2.22 a ghost arrives in the house in the morning and, and you know, she's absolutely tired from having a baby. But it's basically you follow a dinner party yeah. and they're all chatting about whether or not it's true and they drink too much wine and there's fights and arguments. It's really high drama. It's so much fun to do. Oh, you look chuffed hearing, a bit. I really am enjoying it, like hearing people scream, hearing them swear. What, in the audience? Yeah, it's so much fun. And we, and we get like big groups of teenagers that come and then like proper, very serious theatre goers that come. And it's just like a, what a great atmosphere. Wow. We wet ourselves on stage with that reactions. That is so good. Uh, congratulations, Thank what you. a great. And also, you know, you're a determined chap, aren't you? And <laughs> I, I was astonished, when I, not astonished, I mean, not in a bad way, but I was just like, not only are you now starring, I mean, in musical after musical after musical, and now this great show, you've also found time <sighs> to write a fantastic novel. This is called Blood Flowers, and I believe it's going to be the first in a trilogy, would That's it right. be? That's right. Yes, thank you, researchers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. So I, I, was, I, I started doing it about a year and a half ago, and even though it feels like, oh, I'm doing everything, that was a year and a half of me thinking, no, what am I going to do next? And just all my time was going to the library and sort of making going this. To the library. You're such an old school soul, <laughs> aren't you? Who goes to the library anymore? I did. My newer content library, I used to go there, 20p hot chocolate. And now, now, yeah, different library vibes. But um, yeah, eight hours in and a year of doing that. And it's full magical fantasy. You know, it's not an autobiography. Um, so if anyone does like fantasy, it's that sort of vibe. Some people won't, but that's. Yeah, the way but it goes. so this is all sort of. Um, so there's a young, is it a young boy in it who, yeah. who wants to, he, magic is banned, but he tries to sort he, of well, he, go up the ranks and try to use it. his magic somehow. He, he's born sort of down in the slums we call Cobbleside and he yeah. does dream of being up on Roofside. And he tries to get there with all the sort of traditional, conventional ways that he's meant to. Um, and believes that witches and witchcraft is evil. And then over the course of him sort of getting a little bit higher in the ranks, he discovers Maybe everything isn't as it seems. Brilliant. A few secrets in that town. You are a creative, aren't you? Just oh, from yes. morning to night, you just love it all, don't you? I think it's really fascinating. <laughs> and in a way, did it use a different part of you that you know you didn't know really existed when you were in the band, yeah. say, for example? Yeah, I mean, I was a big reader. Like, I always read fantasy. And what's funny is when I was a teenager, one of my characteristics was like, oh, he's always got his nose in a book. And I found that sort of shed away from me over time. And everyone was like, that random dude from The Wanted with curly hair. Um, but now it's nice, like, my family are definitely really happy for me. They're like, of course you were going to write a book, because oh. you've always read them. Do you know That's what I mean? so brilliant. Um, and, of course, look, I, I wanted to share a, a clip with you, which I know, because, um, <laughs> obviously, everyone followed the journey with Tom um, and, and the sadness of, of what happened there. But, actually, I know being back in this studio is a place of joy for Wanted, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and, actually, Lorraine was integral to one of your favourite moments with Tom, wasn't <laughs> it? Right, Let's yeah. just watch it. Listen, I'm so sorry, my top button popped with excitement. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I was directly in my field of vision too. I'm so, so. sorry about that. <laughs> and then we'll just keep watching it, but you know, Tom, when you look back at this, what, yeah. what do you remember? Well, I mean, it's funny, like, all those sort of things that you get told off for, like, boys, come on, like, pull it together, stop being idiots. Like, after, after everything that happened, they become so much more meaningful and you're like, no, like, life is too short not to be silly and find the fun in stuff and 
all that sort of stuff. Like, it does make me feel emotional, but I also feel really grateful that it happened. And you have a key ring, don't you, that I believe you That's take... Right, yeah. Do you take it everywhere with you and it's...? Yeah, I've got a little pepper spray on there as well, cos... Nice. Even though I'm a big lad, you know, you've got to be safe out there. Yes, exactly, um, quite right. But, yeah, yes. just to remember, and it's a nice reminder. Like, I do... I, you know, like, we were together as a, as a squad for so long, and, like, you do become brothers in, like, the most sort of tight way, and that will never change, and I just, you know... What a good boy he was. He was such a good boy. Amazing. And how do you guys all, uh, the Wanted, now keep in touch? Because you're all doing your own things now, of course, yeah. aren't you? Well, actually, um, Max is really good this week. And he messaged us and said, boys, we haven't spoke for a month. This is not OK. We, we were in each other's lives for so long. And we've all been doing our own thing and forgot. But he's a good boy and he reminds us, oh, we need to, you know, we keep tabs on each other. I went and watched Siva in um, a musical he did last year. He did uh, Dancing on Ice. I know you had Dancing on Ice. Yes. Day. We go and watch each other. We love it watching each other be happy and succeed. And, you know, it just, I don't know what to say about this. Uh, yeah, and the thing is, when you, even though you're doing your own thing, you are, that bond is never broken, is it? No. It's not. It's never going to be broken, yeah. particularly partly because of Tom, I imagine, that you have this shared experience, which is quite an unusual thing for a young group of lads to experience together, I guess. Yeah, and I, I do think that um, everything that happened sort of put a lot of stuff into perspective. Yeah. And any sort of, like, like big, mardy arguments... Any like, ego just washes matters. away, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And I think it, yeah I, I don't know what to say, you know what No, I, mean? I understand, yeah, yeah, it's moving. So, and so tell me about your ghost... 222, a ghost story. Yes. Where else can people see you? Because so you're this, on till June, or this, Yeah, up till June. We're going all around the UK. We've not... No more Welsh dates, even though we had a great time in Wales. Um, next up, Sheffield, where my twin went to uni. So I'm, I'm, I know some spots to hang out in there. And then we've got the Scottish one in Aberdeen. We're pinging all over. All over until yeah, June. That's it. Uh, Jay, you're an absolute joy to be oh, around. Thank you, thank you. Um, and so humble, given what you've achieved. And so congratulations on everything. Thanks for having me. Uh, the book's it. out, you're on stage, you're as busy as you can be. Super stuff. Thanks, Jay. <laughs>